Welcome back, Cage Side. It's Ryan Cavanaugh and Nick Nutter, and it's co main event time, Nick. Patrick Scar Dixon and Anthony the Black Shark Stevens. Patrick Dixon, Anthony Stevens. This is the fight I've been looking forward to. Absolutely. This is obviously our co main event, and I'm still catching my breath from that fight. Um, this is going to be a good one. It's going to be a slugfest, too, I believe. And if uh, Stevens is getting hurt on the punches, I think he's got the wrestling ability to take Patrick Dixon down. Outstanding. Without further ado, let's get the fighters out here and get the co main event underway. The following contest is in the Roctagon Light Heavyweight Division, and it is brought to you by Mr. Lorenzo Gentili. Introducing first, making his way down the aisle, please welcome Anthony Black Shark Stevens. Anthony Stevens training out of Fort Bliss Combatives. He's an Army C4 officer too. He's been there for 13 and a half years. God bless him. Certainly done his job with the service. And uh, you know, interesting story. He was two and zero as a middleweight. His army, you know, his time in the army took him over to Germany, where he fought three times as a heavyweight with mixed results. Right, and now he's back to his weight class where he likes to be. And I did see him fighting on YouTube against a huge German guy that was a lot bigger than him. So I think he's happy to be finally fighting guys more his size. But it's more comfortable for him. And trains at Fort Bliss Military Academy. As I mentioned, he was a Fort Bliss heavyweight champ and won a lot of army tournaments in Germany. And his opponent, please welcome Patrick Scar Dixon! Patrick Scar Dixon, coming from, now fighting out of American Top Team in West Palm. Interesting story as well, switch camps, it's been over a year since he last fought, a year and a half, and you know, he realized that there, there was some issues with his game. Deficiency is, Four of his five losses were by submission. He went to American Top Team and he's been working on his jiu-jitsu. Let me take a look at the tail of the tape. Yeah, we got Patrick Dixon coming in, 34 years old, six feet tall, weighed in at 190 with a 76 inch reach. Anthony Stevens at the same age, 34, only uh, two inches shorter at 5'9", both weighed in at 190 with a 71 inch reach. It'd be interesting to see if how the judo or the jiu-jitsu training down at ATT is going to help Dixon here tonight. Yeah. It's huge, and uh, there's a lot of power in this ring right now. Anybody who gets caught on the button, I see either man going to sleep. Perfect ending to the fight. Patrick Dixon said was me standing over him. Me, me standing with my hand raised and the doctor standing over him. So. Making no secrets of what Dixon wants to do. He's a heavy-handed striker. All five of his wins by knockout. And he's a good personality, too. He uh, he comes in, he's, he's fun, he smiles, he's respectful, but uh, he does have some dynamite in his hands. Absolutely, this is it. We get Scott Dixon into the cage. We set it up to Jake Dickman for the official introductions. The following contest is a professional catchweight bout in the Rocktown Light Heavyweight Division, and it is brought to you by Mr. Lorenzo Gentili. Introducing first in the blue corner, he fights out of Phoenix, Arizona. He weighed in at 190 pounds, representing Fort Bliss Combatives with a professional record. Three wins, one loss, and one draw. Please welcome Anthony Black Shark Stevens! And his opponent in the red corner, originally from El Paso, Texas, he now fights out of Palm Beach, Florida. He weighed in at 190 pounds, representing American Top Team with a professional record. Five wins, five losses, and one draw. Please welcome Patrick Scar Dixon! This bout is scheduled for three five minute rounds, and when the action begins, your referee is Mr. Jacob Montalvo. Here we go, co main event time here at Roctagon 28, Junior Champions, Buchanan Event Center, El Paso, with Patrick Scar Dixon. 
in the turquoise aqua blue fight trunks. Anthony Stevens in the black. Jacob Montalvo. We're minutes or seconds away from the co-main event. Third man in the cage. I'm Ryan Cavanaugh with the All-American Nick Nutter. And it's big right Stevens. Wow. Felt the Might power of Dixon there. Might have been an accidental headbutt, but uh, neither guy looks like they're bleeding, thank God. Both of these guys had boxing backgrounds. They both started off. Head kick from Dixon. They both started off with a hook. Another head kick. But Stevens looks for the takedown. Good defense, good defense. Excellent sprawling. Stevens using that power to push him up against the cage. I think that's smart from Stevens. Slow down the pace. Those big haymakers will disappear after a, a little time. And uh, maybe slowly try to work a takedown here. And what's his, as far as wrestling here, how does he, what do you have to do to complete this takedown? I, I always say the best way to do when their legs get spread like that and they're leaning on a fence is to go right underneath your butt cheeks and you can lock them together. And then grabbing the fence. Jacob Montalvo just gave yeah. him a warning for that. Touch gloves, they're all cool. And the most unfortunate part for Stevens, oh, big right by Stevens. He's fast. Stepped right into it. Those were extremely quick hands. Excellent point, Nick. Oh, and a left from Dixon rocks him. Autopilot going for the takedown. Oh, jumping kick. Dixon is all over him. He's got to watch the knees. Okay, he's got to catch, catch, uh, catch his breath here. Wow. What sure. action here early in round one of our co-main event. Stevens could take a punch. And he came back fighting. Some people cower and run away. He came back with his instinct of shooting a double leg and throwing, a, throwing his own punches back. He took some shots and stayed in there. Clinched it. Has he cleared his cobwebs at this point? Yeah, I'm hoping he's getting him back. And it's smart to keep Stevens up against the fence right now. And uh, it really makes me proud of our military that, uh, you know, you're not going down easy and he's coming back swinging hard. So uh, I really respect the military and uh, I, I just appreciate Stevens fighting so hard here and he's representing well. Look at it. Stevens does seem to have the energy back and he's really working the clinch, the clinch game here, having pressed up and not giving Dixon any room to move. And that's smart. It, it's going to help. There's a little short elbow that just missed. What, what Stevens has to do is get like underneath an arm with both, you know, commit to one side and get a head underneath an oh, arm. He's, oh, oh, he, he had the like takedown, and Dixon just muscled him out. He's going to take the back of Stevens. Yes. And he's under, the, he's under the neck there. That was quick. Stevens is on trouble. He's tapping yeah. him out. It's Patrick Dixon, first round yeah. submission win. I guess we've got our answer as to whether the jiu-jitsu jiu jiu training down in American Top Team has paid off. He slapped it on quickly, and uh, and I know that his takedown defense had improved because Stevens was in on some deep double legs, and the, the hips of Patrick Dixon really saved him and avoided the takedown. Impressive, impressive stuff from Patrick Dixon. Here you go with the replay. Oh, right here, the replay. And what, what we're seeing is he's going to try a little foot sweep, and you couldn't see it because his feet were missing in the picture. But he tried a foot sweep, and he wasn't able to sweep the feet, and that's what put him in a bad position right there. And once he got his back, it was very quick yeah. to get the tap. He almost had it like uh, crushing your larynx tight, and that's more pain than it is choke. What a performance by Patrick Dixon. And we've got the official announcement. We set it up to Jake Dickman. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the first round by rear naked choke submission, Patrick Scar Dixon! First of all, Patrick, welcome home. A vessel! My home, baby! This is my home! You know, we've talked about you moving to Florida, taking your camp there, working on the jujitsu. I, I gotta say, I think I'm impressed. Were you expecting to get a submission out here tonight? Not at all. Um, I, I, since I moved, the day since I moved over there to Florida, 
Kahumba Jiu Jitsu ATT. Man, that's all we do, Jiu Jitsu every day. So it just came natural. I didn't expect that at all. I was just, oh, that's practice right there, you know? And I know you planned, you wanted to come out here and show him your power in your hands, land some punches, and I feel like you did that. Were you surprised at how tough Stevens was? Man, he hit hard, I swear. Don't believe YouTube videos, guys. I got hit hard, and he was big. He was a big guy, man. I, I was gonna call my mom. Anybody you want to thank? Oh man, I want to thank all my sponsors. First of all, my little brother Nathan, wherever you are. Love you, it's his birthday. It's his birthday in two days. My brother! Hey, my brother! Um, I want to thank my coach right here, uh, Joe, Joe Garcia, Joker, um, ATT, uh, West Palm Beach, um, Jap Japanese Kitchen. Thank you. And the, the rest of you, you know who you are, Patrick Dixon. Another win, State of the Winning Com. One more time, put your hands together for Patrick Dixon.